My dad. One of my first recollections of dad was when I was very little. I think we were on holiday in Ireland and I got myself stuck on the beach, surrounded by a load of jellyfish, and he had to come and rescue me from them. I also remember sitting on a seat fixed to the front handlebar of his bike and the road would zoom by underneath. We didn't have a car in those days. He was always a keen cyclist, and in fact it was my nan who told me that when he was in his mid-teens, how my dad cycled from Morton, first to Auntie Emily in North Wales, and then all the way to London to stay with Uncle Albert and see his cousins. I tried to emulate that cycling feat when I was a similar age, but again, he had to come and rescue me after I got stuck, this time not from jellyfish, but after crashing off my bike on the M56 motorway that was still under construction and where I should never have been on a bicycle. That was my dad, always there to help us at the drop of a hat, even if we'd done something really daft. My dad was an accomplished amateur footballer, largely playing in the West Cheshire League for Newton, Morton, Hoylake and Upton. But towards the end of his career, he became a part-time professional footballer for Bury United of Londono, a team that won the Welsh League and then after Dad had left, went on to win the Welsh Cup and play in the European Cup Winners' Cup. He even played for the famous amateur side Northern Nomads in an FA Cup tie when he was well into his 40s. I think he even scored a goal. When we were youngsters playing football with him, either on the park or on the beach, we could never tackle and get the ball off him as he had an amazing armoury of tricks. My dad was competitive, but fur, with a heart of gold underneath. That competitiveness was still there in 2013. The occasion was mum and dad's diamond wedding anniversary celebrations in their back garden, and we were all stunned at the spectacle of two octogenarians, my dad and my uncle Alf, going hell for leather in a game of table tennis, no holes barred, including disputed calls. So Dad, thanks for buying me all those records when I was a little kid, and for those children's parties at Victory Kidder. And thanks for the foresight for taking me to judo class at Upton. This proved handy at school where despite being the youngest in the year, I could defend myself in scraps. And even very recently when I crashed off my bike again, I was able to break the impact of the fall with a judo roll much to the amusement of onlookers. Again, learned all those years ago, thanks to my dad. Finally, thanks for being a great father to the four of us, a wonderful husband for mum, and a greatly loved granddad and great granddad. We'll miss you, we'll love you always. Rest in peace, dad.